out or not to work out during pregnancy? That is the question. And if you're like me and you're in touch with your inner athlete, you gotta be wondering how intense did your workouts really be? Well, I gotta tell you, as my baby bump grows, so do the glares and comments from family members, friends, and perfect strangers. So that's why we're here today at New York Sports Club with this, a certified prenatal exercise specialist, Amy Ha. Hey, and okay. she's gonna tell me, is it possible to work out during pregnancy? Is it possible? It's not only possible, it's very important. I like to hear that. Absolutely. But I gotta say, I've, I've been working, I'm, I'm six months pregnant. Uh -huh. I've been, you look fabulous. Why, well, thank you. I've been working out until, since day one, pretty uh -huh. much. And as I'm showing, people have so many comments. Unsolicited advice is what I call it. Can my heartbeat go above 140? That's the good, that's, yes. It can it? Yes, it can. Should it? It doesn't have to. But it is allowed to. You've got to remember, when you're pregnant, you are already developing your heart rate a lot faster. Okay. So your blood pressure is going up naturally because of the baby, your heart rate, so your resting heart rate is going to be higher. Yeah. So it's okay that you go higher. ACOG has said 140 beats per minute is fine. Okay, so false, it can go over 140. Absolutely. Okay. Now, I've been told that uh, exercising can bring about preterm labor. Very unlikely. Very unlikely. Okay. You know, again, listen to your body. If anything feels uncomfortable, you stop. Okay. But if you have a healthy body and your doctor has given you the okay, which everybody really should check with their doctor before starting any exercise okay. program. So number one, check with your doctor. Absolutely. But if you're, if you're a healthy individual, it's going to be very difficult. The body is very resilient. The baby's very resilient. Nothing's really going to happen. It's funny because it doesn't feel that way sometimes. I you know. know? Well, you've you got a little baby. You've got like somebody know. growing in there. Someone told me that it was uh, that you're prone to getting more injuries during pregnancy. Which is a possibility. And that is because there is relax and release into the ligaments and into the joints, especially in the hip area. I feel it of, in my hips. Exactly. Because it wants you to be able to spread the hips. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes. You are going to be a little bit more prone, but exercise is going to help you strengthen up your muscles and your bones to keep everything a little bit stronger so you have a little bit more coordination. Let's put some gloves okay. on. Because kickboxing is another thing that people are afraid to do. They're afraid people in class are going to give them a hard time. They do give me a hard time, right. actually. But we're going to show you the proper way to do it. OK. OK, the, the most important thing is you've got to remember, even if you were to fall right now, mm -hmm. That nothing's gonna happen to the really? baby. No. Okay. Nothing's gonna happen to the baby. But nobody ever wants to fall. I don't want to fall even if I'm not pregnant, right? So you just gotta remember that nothing can really happen to the baby. But if you were to take just basic punches, let's just do those. There's no reason why you can't just basic punches. And punch. I love this. I get, get my out. anger out. Yeah. <laughs> Aggression, this is anger, my favorite. everything. It's great. So then, look, there's nothing wrong with that. You see your body is mm -hmm. perfect. Look at that. That's great. You're working up it. your heart rate, you're working up your sweat, you're building your muscles in your arms, your hips, and your abs. Okay, so okay? the punching we say is good, which seems normal right. because you're keeping steady. Mm -hmm. But what about the kicking? kicking? Okay, now, to do a basic kick, I want you just to squat okay. and kick. Okay. Squat and kick. Squat and kick. Good. Squat and kick. Good, but really pay attention <clears throat> to your balance. Woo, you go, girl. If you were a runner before, you can run now. Again, listen to your body. Okay. Okay. Now, have you seen one of these before? I have not. Okay. <laughs> this will help you. Let's just slow this down just a tiny okay, little bit. Okay, you got it. Okay. And I want you to put this on. It's a, it's like it's like a belly bra, if you will. All right. And it just gives you a little extra support. I love this. Okay. So oh, doesn't I that make you feel a little more snug? Yes, and it releases pressure from your hips. Exactly. And what's well, great about it is you can use this through all aerobics, whether you want to do it through kickboxing or in step. Where can it's I fabulous. get one of these? I got this at Babies R Us. Okay, I love okay. this. So, so let's take you up. into a little bit of a run and just kind of show you your form. Okay. Now you just have to remember not to go too fast. So if I, let's say I ran at like a seven, eight or something like that, I should take that down at least. Like I run an eight minute mile. Okay. Don't run eight minute miles, right? Wow, that's pretty impressive. That's what was last summer. Okay. So let's just go a nice easy jog. How See, does I that could feel? Do that. I could totally do that. You could, right? Absolutely. You're running. A well-rounded exercise routine always includes weights. Yes. And I want to make sure I keep these arms strong for baby That's carrying. That's right. You've got a great foundation, but you want to make sure that you maintain that because you're going to be carrying that baby a lot. 
feeding it, you're going to be just carrying the baby a lot. Right. And it's just important to keep your muscles strong. Also for posture, it's going to help you with your posture. You worked out before, you do the same weights as you did prior. And I can do, I can do light weight, just do high repetition, right? Exactly. To keep my heart beat exactly. Up. And you can even, as you get more and more pregnant, as, as your terms go along, you can then decrease the weight, decrease the repetitions. Again, listen to your body. There's going to be some days that you're tired. There's going to be some days that you feel strong and you do what you can do. Okay, you got so it. I just want you to stand with your knees bent just a little bit, elbows right at your side, palms facing up. Okay, looking straight ahead and keeping your hands really relaxed. Go much slower, really slow. And finally, abs. Oh, yes, the abs. I'm, I mean, so used to working my abs, it's been really hard to kind of stay away. But you're saying I don't have to. No, you need to do them. You need to work your abdominals. There's no reason not to. First of all, where are they, Amy? They're there, they're there. <laughs> I know, they're stretching. But are they on top? Yes, they're on top. Now, you've got to, you, you notice that you're going to have a little bit of a spacing right in here, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's going to grow as the baby gets bigger. What you want to do is if it goes any more than three fingers, you don't want to be you don't want to do too much abdominal exercises. Okay. And if you're maybe two fingers or one fingers and you're a little concerned, I'm gonna show you right now how you can do some abs and let's, let's put you down right on here. Okay. The body wedge. I'm doing some abs. This I have not done since, okay. since before pregnancy. So no abs since pregnancy. No abs since pregnancy. Wow. Really. Okay. So let's start with some basic crunches. Okay. Okay. So what you're gonna do is I want you to hold your belly like so. And if you place your hands right here, and then you can kind of hold yourself together. You see what I mean? So you kind of feel like a little bit more support. Keep yep. your chest up, come back slowly, and right back up again. Okay? So you feel how that I can do feel work? It. Okay. And, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable, right? No, it doesn't feel uncomfortable so, at all. Amy, you have been a huge help. Oh, I'm so glad I could You help. make me feel less guilty about what I've been doing for the last six months, and you help me focus on what I should be doing. That's right. So there are no excuses. However, we should always consult with a physician. Absolutely. Okay. Doctors, yes. You're seeing your doctor anyway, talk to them about exercise. And listen to your body. The body will tell you if you should stop working out. There you have it.